Ah, good morning. Even though it's it's winter time and it kind of sucks, it's another great day on top of the hill. It's only early winter after all. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so we've been up to a few things. First, I built a barrel, found out that we can store a lot more water than we can in these jugs. Which means I kind of feel silly for having so many of them, but you know what? All's well that ends well. Secondly, we, we kind of finished the roof here. Um, we haven't finished this wall because I want to kind of expand it out, and that will be kind of a storage area, I think. And then this way, of course, will lead to our eventual forge. So that's why I haven't done anything with that wall. But if you'd like to see what the place looks like right now, let's go take a look. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I like the design. I don't know if I like the coloring. Especially since, and there's no way I'm going to go up there to show you. But, oh, you can kind of see it. See how those things pop through? This was all done with a chisel, which is really cool. Um, each of those are actually quarter slabs, or, or quarter blocks, pardon me. And uh, you have to chisel them where they are, but it works just fine. Um, oh, and we have a dog, by the way. Um, the thing that we... The thing that we, oh, I was going to say the thing that we saw on the hill, but then I realized that we haven't actually, I haven't actually posted that video yet. Um, but this is a dog, and we have one now. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Uh, I don't think there are name tags in this world, since this world's a little bit more, what's the word they use, believable? Um, oh, look down there, the bay's freezing up. Well, actually, it's, it's kind of thawing right now, but you get the idea. Um... Oh, my fire went out. Oh, well. I haven't got anything to cook right now anyway. So I was out exploring, and I'll probably post that video tomorrow. Um, oh, which is another thing that I wanted to say. Um, I think I'm going to change the way that I do these videos. I'll do one video that's more practical, things like water barrels, how to make food, how to find things, etc. And then every other day, I might do just a fun uh, video where I'm out exploring or fighting things or, or something like that. Just just basically goofing off. And uh, I went out exploring for quite a while, actually, to try and find sugar cane. And instead, I found a dog. At the time, of course, he was a wolf, and he was eating a deer. Which is why I have venison. Because I tamed him and kept his venison. <laughs> oh, you're so sad. No, he's not sad. I can't feed him, though. I don't know... They changed the mechanics, so if I click on him, it tells me that he's a male, but it won't actually let me feed him anything, and that worries me, um, because it probably means that he's just going to eventually get sick, or, or get more and more damaged, I guess I should say, and die. Okay, here's another thing I've been working on. Um, since we had all the meat, I figured we should probably build a storeroom, and I found that things tend to keep remarkably well in here. Yep, that hasn't even decayed at all. How about this? Uh, looks good. Looks good. And then how about the how's the meat doing? Um, yeah. So the storeroom's keeping it all really, really fresh. It would be better, of course, if we had some salt so we could salt that meat. Um, today, I found out that there is no Ender Dragon in Terra Firma. Which, you know, that that doesn't work for me, because that was kind of the point, is we were going to get our, our medieval weapon tree here, and, um, well, this is pre-medieval, this is Bronze Age, and take out an Ender Dragon, and obviously that's not going to work if he doesn't exist, so I'm not entirely sure what our new goal should be. Oh, gosh, he scared me. You scared me. Did you? He would have had to have spawn in there. Boy, that's just, that's just... All kinds of bad luck, buddy. Because now you die. Okay. Anywho. Um, yeah, so... Oh, and there's one more thing I wanted to show you. I just remembered why I came down here in the first place. We have... I planted some of the saplings. Not all of them. Just some. 
Um, I didn't know if the winter would kill them, and if it did... Oh, they're growing. And if the winter was going to kill them, I definitely didn't want to put all my eggs in one basket. But it looks like they're doing just fine. Uh, oh, you can see our house up there. That's pretty cool. It looks like they're doing just fine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more saplings, and maybe I'll clear out some land, and we'll start a legitimate orchard. Um... Because I think, I think that sounds like a good deal. So, uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Now, see, it looks like the temperature's dropping again. Because uh, we've got ice forming out there. Let's see. Apparent temperature is 5.81. It doesn't seem to be dropping. It's definitely well below the average biome temperature. But it doesn't seem to be actually dropping. Anyway, it doesn't really affect us that much, so we're just going to keep working on our orchard here. You know, guys, as I'm sitting here listening to nasty, scary things outside, I can't help but thinking, what are we going to do with this floor? I mean, I'd kind of forgotten about it, but we will need to dig this out and replace it with something more civilized-like, aren't we? think so. Also, what are we going to do with this dog? I don't know. You know, it, it took me a while to realize, but that skelly is on my roof. As far as I'm concerned, that's just unacceptable, even though it is only a few minutes till dawn. So, we just, we can't abide that. That's just got to stop. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Hopefully, oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Nope, a little bit low. Got him. Did he fall off my roof? Cuz I don't want him on my roof. Nope, he's still up there. Nobody. Nope, I'm out of javelins. Ha-ha, he says. Now it's my turn. Oh, fudge, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, gosh. Oh! Well, isn't that a stroke of luck? Huh. We're just going to put that away until we figure out how to use it. Let's see. Will it go on the weapons rack? It does. Ha ha! Ha ha! Cool. Okay, guys, we have a little bit of a problem. Uh, apparently, when trees are in this stage, the only way to identify them is by their leaves. And the problem is, if they're not flowering or have fruit, it's it's pretty much impossible to tell what they are. Um. Because a lot of them have the same pattern. Like, you'll notice that one's brown because it's autumn. But besides that, this one and that one are identical. Uh, so in hindsight, I, I really probably should have um, thought. <laughs> thought a little bit more about where I put these or, or thought about maybe marking them. Because uh, I kind of wanted everything to be in nice, neat rows. Uh, but now I, I think that ship has just about sailed. So I think we're just going to play some... Um, pretty much willy-nilly. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to make some signs, so at least we know which ones we have put up are, or what the ones that we have put up are. Um, these three will remain a mystery until they flower next spring or whenever that happens. But maybe the others we can keep better track of. You know, guys, with the animals, I, I really feel like we should help this guy out. Oh, goodness. As long as we don't die ourselves in the process. Um, I really am not sure if I know how we can help him out. Or if he even needs help, for that matter. But we're going to try it anyway. Let's see. We'll take out this one and that one. Huh. 
He should be able to move out now, if he wants to. That That's the hope, anyway. Anyway, uh, back to getting the signs. So, I've been curious about the hot springs, and uh, I don't really know if there's a safe way to get down there, but I'm just checking temperature right now. See, it says it's 403 right here. Yep. Huh. That's interesting. So it is considerably warmer near the springs. I'm not sure how we can use that to our advantage just yet, unless we wanted to dig a huge pit, which in terra firma probably just isn't really a good idea. Um, but it does seem like there should be a way to capitalize on that. We, we are definitely going to play with this idea a little bit more. Huh. Anyway, we got our signs, and it's getting dark. Uh, scratch that, it is full-on dark, so we had better get to work before we get mobbed. Alright guys, real quick, before the sun goes down, I just wanted to show you our progress. We've got red apple, we've got plum, we've got peach, and we've got cherry. And these three have all sprouted another leaf. I'm very, very proud of them. They're doing great. Uh, then we have the bushes, which I planted, and hopefully they'll get us some fruit. Um... And we also have this lemon tree that I have not planted yet. And hopefully we won't get mobbed real qu quick. Let's see. So we'd been noticing an apparent increase in... Whoa. Yep, need to be careful around these parts. We've been noticing an apparent increase in temperature down by the, by the um, hot spring. So we're just going to check real quick here, see if that makes any sense. Right here, for instance, the temperature is 257, 2.57, and the apparent temperature is the same. We swing around to this side. 298 on both counts. Now let's see what happens when we go down into the pit. Hmm. That's interesting. If I'm over here, it drops down again. But if I come over here... It's up to 302, which isn't a big increase in temperature. We swim in the water. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. I would have thought... Pardon me. I would have thought that uh, we would have seen an increase in temperature, and I thought we did as we were experimenting a little bit with it. Um, maybe it's because we're around the sides of the pit. Maybe if we check farther out, it'll get colder. We just don't want to go too much out farther out. We want to stay in the same biome. So if we come out here, wow, it's actually warmer up here. Huh. Well, apparently I've built a pit for no reason. I better plant this lemon tree and get out of here. Hey guys, just past the night. Um, we have the orchard planted. We might even be able to see it from here. Uh-huh. Oh, and it looks like one of our new trees sprouted a, a leaf, which is cool. Very, very cool. Um, also looks like it's freezing down there. Uh, but we have other things on our mind. Um, I've been looking into recipes during the night, and a whole lot of things involve flux. Not just welding, but if we want to... Ah, oh, where's my staircase? I haven't used it in a while. Not just welding, but, I mean, if we want... Oh, I should bring my scythe. Um, if we want to make lime water so we can make leather, we need flux. If, well, I think that's actually pretty much it. There are other things that involve li lime water, but I can't remember what they are right now. Anyway, not terribly, terribly important. The point is, we need to find us some flux. Now, apparently it's usually sedimentary, as in the form of limestone. Somewhere along the way... We managed to pick up one single limestone rock. Don't know how that happened, but if we could find that area again, that would obviously be awesome. So, I think it was off in that direction. We are going to get to it, and wish me luck. Okay, guys, that was actually a lot easier than I expected. If we come over here, we can kind of, well, I guess you can't really see up through the trees. There we go. That's our mountain. And I'm sorry about the lag. Gosh, what's going on? Don't know. Um, and here's the limestone. It was just laying around for the taking. 
So uh, we're going to get collecting it and possibly dig down and see if we can find some interesting things right here. Okay, guys, we have done some digging, and we have found some limestone. So uh, right now we've got 8, which should be enough for 16, which should be enough for... Uh, enough to get us started here, so I think we're going to be content with that for the time being. Uh, I'm going to run over to a chest that I left some buckets in and grab some buckets. Grab my buckets, that's what I'm going to do. And then uh, we're going to head back topside and we are going to get busy. Holy crap, he found me. I guess he just died. I think he did. No, nope, he's still around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, but he can't get to us, because that's a too high. Ah! Well, I hope. I hope. He's going to make another attempt now. Oh, gosh, I hate rain. Yep, that time he killed himself. Sweet. Well, that solves that problem. So, we, we got a little turned around coming back from collecting the limestone. And now we're stuck in this awful cave. Um, I made this earlier, actually, when we were on the run. And uh, now we're stuck in this awful cave, to cave waiting for the rain to stop or daylight to hit or something. So, yeah, that's the situation. Look at that punk over there. Thinking that as soon as we cross this river, he's going to take us out. Well, not today. Alright, so we've got nine buckets of water, actually. Um... Well, oh, creeper. And boy, I will admit that as much as this winter time is getting on my nerves, it is a lot easier to navigate that river when it's all frozen. And and covered in snow. Not just frozen, but covered in snow. Um, when it's frozen, it's still it's still a bit tricky, but when it's frozen and covered in snow, it's just like walking on carpet. Ain't nothing to it. Okay. So we're going to make some lime water, uh, which will involve making another barrel. I need to check my food sources real quick so I can pair off any decayed parts if I need to. This will only take a moment, so bear with me, people. Let's see, last time we checked the back row. So this time we checked the front row. No decay there. And no decay there. And actually, we're going to check this one real quick, because that's the one that the carrot's in. And it says it has 0, 0.0 decay. I don't know what that means. It does make me... we. No, I think we checked that one last time, but we'll check it again. Um, it doesn't really surprise me that nothing's decaying up here, because um, if we take a look, we're actually below freezing. So basically, that's a bunch of frozen food. Um, we picked up another carrot from a zombie a minute ago. That'll help us. Let's take a look here. Yeah, lots of protein, not much grain or vegetable in our diet anymore, so we need to switch it up a little. Anyway, up we go, up and up and up. Okay. Whoa. Okay. We got plenty of snow up here after last night. Alright, so well, we haven't got any of our regular rocks, so let's grab a couple of those. And let's make a hammer. I think it's like this, right? Put up, down, got it, okay. Got plenty of sticks on us. Now, as I understand it, we take this just like that. Let's see, we're going to need eight buckets full, so that should be four stones. Yep. And we crush them all. Yep, okay. And then we go like this. Ha! Lime water. Well, this is just shaping up beautifully. Okay, now that we've got all this lime water, we need to make ourselves a barrel. So, let me see if I have some wood planks. Not a little bit. We'll use these. And we're going to need more than that, though. So let's drop these off. Chow chow. Nope, down with the other sticks. Thank you very much. And then we're going to need our saw. ka -chow. Yeah, there we go. And let's see. We need one log. So I've been sticking our willow logs in the wall here. I think we'll just need the one. Uh-huh. Ka-chow. Good deal. And like Dawson. Uh, what just happened? 
we ended up with more planks than we started with. Well, let's go ahead and use these sequoia planks. Oh, we can't mix and match because they're a colored item. I didn't oh. think about that. Well, anyway, there we go. And where should we cure our leather? This seems like a, a back, an outside sort of activity for some reason. So we're going to stick it right. That might get in the way of our building. Let's, let's just put it over here by the anvil. And let's see. In and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. And we just keep on going like that. That's nice and relaxing like. Not really, but kind of. Okay. Now I'm going to double check the recipe real quick, but I'll be right back. Okay, so after doing some research, I have determined that, yes, this is the correct first step. And we're going to use one of these medium rawhides, just in case I do screw something up. It's better that not everything gets screwed up. Let's see, we can put that in, and then we seal it. Uh-huh, and we can't op open it. And while we're up here, we're going to go ahead and empty this one. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Dang it. Ha! Huh. Well, I screwed that up. All right, no worries. Okay, so... Let's see, we need one of these here. Logs. We need to saw it. We're going to create another water barrel while we're waiting, although it's going to take longer than just a few minutes here. Something like that. Now that right there is our drinking water, so we're not going to... Actually, we need another one as well. Uh, let's see, we can access it from this side too, can't we? Yep. Okay. So, altogether, it takes three barrels to completely tan a hide. Uh-huh. And we need to get those two filled up with water. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. And as you can see, this one is completely full of water, and now we just need to do the same thing with this one. And as I understand it... We're going to need to create a, uh, a barrel of tannin. So we place a willow log in like this, and do we seal it? That ah, seems to have worked. Okay. And we're going to enjoy some meat here, and we'll, uh, we'll wait until that finishes processing then. Okay, while we're waiting and we've got nothing better to do, we're going to have some fun with the chisel. And what that means is we're going to go out here and we're going to take some of this andesite. And if this works, huh, might not be the right mode. Let's see, that's stair mode, that's slab mode, that's detail mode. And this should be, hmm, maybe it doesn't work on andesite. Or, oh, I don't have a, a hammer equipped. It's got to be in my hotbar like this. Okay, let's try this again. Aha! There we go. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a floor out here um, for our little shed. It's going to be right here. And then we're going to build it out of these smooth stones because they are so much easier to get than regular andesite. And and they'll look nice. Um, and they'll pretty much match everything else. I mean, it's going to look a little bit different, but not too much. Uh, and the differences will probably be good differences. So, yeah. We're going to get to work on that. Uh-huh. So that's kind of our basic floor layout. This will be sort of an entryway. Um, obviously, we'll dig these deeper, and we'll put some spruce logs in and whatnot. Um, and then I think the wall for the shed is actually going to be set back a little bit, so that it won't be quite so obvious that... Uh, uh, so, that so that it will be very obvious, I guess I should say that this is a different structure, that this isn't technically part of the house proper. But otherwise, I think it's going to be just about the same design as the rest of the house, with the log piles and the spruce wood. Um, green roofing optional. We'll see about that. Anyway, uh, let's get back to our tannin real quick. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Looks like we have a soaked hide here. Took us down, what, a barrel? Half a barrel? Or full barrel? I'm, I'm not sure how much it took us down. Okay, so then we're going to scrape the hide real quick. Oh, that didn't work. How odd. Okay, I must have something backwards. Give me one second. Okay, so I was close, just not all the way there. You've got to have the knife over the hide. Aha! There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. And once we've done that, we throw it back in the barrel. And seal that thing up. Whoops. And that's what happens when you try to check it with a block in your hand. And if we go to our chisel, maybe that's not a good idea either. Sword. There we go. Can't open it. We can open the barrel of lime water. We can open the b barrel of tannin, uh, which is done, by the way. But not the barrel of water. So we could get another rawhide soaking if we wanted to, but I think I think we're going to hold off till we figured this out a little bit more. This is just an experimental stage. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This floor plans print is looking kind of on the strange side to me. A um, little bit oblong. I really don't know if that's going to work the way I want it to. Uh, let's see. Where the cobblestone is is where the walls are going to be. And then we're going to have some sort of doorway right here. Or maybe we'll lengthen that out a little bit. But uh, some way to come out to the forge and, and the tannery and anything else we put out here. Hmm. And that puts f a full five blocks between the corner, whoops, where the spruce is going to be, and the, um, the wall, the last spruce block, which we haven't done before, but it won't necessarily look bad. It is psyching me out just a little bit, but I think in order to know for sure, we're going to have to try it. Anyway, let's check that hide real quick. Looks like it's still under. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep working then, and I'll come back when it's time to come back. Well, that's not too bad. It might have some weird space. Uh, for instance, if I put a chest right there, or right there, it's going to be a little bit weird. But again, not, not too bad. Uh, I think I'd rather have them facing like this. Yep. Okay, I, I can live with that. It's not terrific, but it's it's not it's not horrible either. And it's right next to the forge and everything that I decide to put out here. So if I feel so inclined, I can do whatever I need to do here. Ah! That looks like our prepared hide is ready. We can do whatever we need to do here and then just run right up and in here. It, it should be alright, I think. All right, last stage of tanning, I do believe. We take the medium prepared hide, stick it right in there, and seal that girl up. And pretty soon, we're going to have us a piece of leather. Yep, sounds good. So I feel like I learn and grow as, as things go on. And so I'm looking at this and wondering if I should do it in the same derpy manner that I made my first roof. Uh, my first roof, you can see that it's kind of messed up. I mean, when you go around the side, these, these white blocks kind of poke through. Um, I have a chance to correct that with this one. Um, just not really sure if, if it's that important to me. It also saved me a lot of headache because theoretically I'd have to, I'd have to sculpt these logs, which I actually can't do, so they would just be basically poking up through the top of the roof. Uh, so as I, as I sit here and look at this, I think maybe there's a better way to do this. Um, the other option is we can have it just flat and kind of make it slope anyway. Hmm. I think we'll go ahead and give that a try and, and see what it looks like. Okay. Now here I'm faced with another dilemma. Because I really like the way it looks up to this point. I may not once I see it kind of from the side. So we're going to shift here. and No, no, I think I do like it. Even even like that. Um, the issue is that now we've got to drop it down a block. 
And that's a little bit tricky without making it look just utterly ridiculous. Of course, there's there's no way to really tell how ridiculous it'll look or whether it'll look ridiculous at all without trying it, so of course we're going to have to try it. Um, I don't see any any way around that necessarily. But uh, I'm, I'm not really enjoying the idea. All right. Here goes nothing. Uh huh. Well, it definitely looks cool from the top. Ow. Okay. And from the side that we're mostly going to be looking at it from, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Actually, I kind of like the, the look it's got right now, where it's kind of open. If we don't use that here, we're definitely going to use it somewhere else, because that's cool. But what if we slide on over here and take a look at it from a different angle here? Let's see. <laughs> yep. It, it's kind of derpy looking. Um, I think I've made the opposite mistake from last time. You know, where last time the issue was, it looks great, you know, from, from the ground. It's only when you actually look at the top that it looks weird, like so. And this time it looks great, unless you look at it from... Well, the place is where people are actually going to be looking at it from. But you know what? We're going to go with it anyway. Because it's just a storage shed, and, and it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of cool looking, even so. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and keep it. Um, we should probably check on this, huh? Aha! Let there be leather. Okay, now as I understand it, let's see, we've got to have a knife in the hot bar. I'll take the axe out real quick. And then we right click the leather. And we go ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk. And we've got ourselves a leather, leather tunic. Let's advance. Let's see. Pierce 200 slash 250, crush 300. Don't really completely understand, but we're going to cover up my awesome vest with this here leather. Well, don't I look sharp now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I think this has been about it for today. Um, off camera, I'll probably finish up that shed. Oh, there's the quiver slot. Huh. I'm probably going to finish up that storage shed and uh, think about what we're going to do next time. Maybe go exploring for some sugar cane. Um, anyway, I think that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, butterflies, and unicorns. I am out.